Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. Okay, so we have 6x to the power of 3 minus 48 equals 0. And then we are going to solve this problem completely. The first thing we do is to divide by 6, divide this by 6, and divide this by 6. Okay, so if you reduce all the terms, it's not going to change anything, right? So this will cancel this, and we have x to the power of 3 minus 48 divided by 6. What will it give us? That will give us some um, 8. And then 0 divided by 6 will give us 0. And then from here, we have x to the power of 3. Now let's express 8 in the index form to get 2 to the power of 3. And this is equal to 0. Okay, now that we have the same powers, we are going to, you know, follow this standard that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this will be the same thing as a minus b and then into bracket here we are going to have a squared plus a b then plus b squared this is what you have okay now let's continue from here now, in place of um, a minus b, I'm going to have x, x minus 2, right? So we have x minus 2 in the first bracket. In the second, a squared becomes x squared. x squared, then plus ab here becomes x times 2. That will be 2x, then plus. And then, look at it, it doesn't matter because we have plus b squared here. Whatever you're going to have here, don't pick this minus 2, okay? You're only going to pick 2 for your b. So, our b squared now will be 2 squared. So, I write 2 squared over there. And then, this is all equal to 0. And then, x minus 2 into x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. The next thing to be done is to apply 0 product true. Since we have these two to multiply to get 0, either of them or even both of them must be equal to 0. Okay, so let's pick this first. If we pick this minus 2, x minus 2 to be equal to 0, then it means that x is equal to 0 plus 2 and our x is 2 right now we have one of the values of x if you want to continue with this quadratic expression you will equate it to 0 and it will become a quadratic equation so we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 as a quadratic expression then equate it to 0 to become a quadratic equation now we can solve this by using the formula method and for the formula our a will be 1 that is the coefficient of x squared our b is plus 2 that is the coefficient of x and our c is 4 which is the constant over there now from here what is the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus we have square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this is over 2a now i will put in the values of abc so that x will be equal to in place of minus b we shall have minus 2 positive or negative then we have 2 squared minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 then multiply by 4 this is over 2 multiplied by a 
if we continue then x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have 2 squared is 4 then 4 times 1 times 4 is 16 and then this is over 2 right okay let's continue okay so x now will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus yes okay we have negative 12 in the square root and then the whole of this will be over 2 now i want to cut out this negative from 12 so i have x to be equal to minus 2 <coughs> plus or minus we have square root of 12 multiplied by square root of negative 1 and the whole of this will be over 2 right okay x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 12 here is 4 times 2 what i did is to bring out the perfect square in 12 and that is 4 it's actually 4 times 3 then multiply by square root of negative 1 the whole of this will be over 2 now x is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then we have root 3 then i have i okay because square root of negative 1 is imaginary which is i and then this will be over 2 let's continue from here so that x will be equal to 2 can go here so that we have minus 1 plus or minus 2 we still go there so we have square root of 3i okay so there is no longer 2 here as the denominator now this means that our x is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3i or minus 1 minus square root of 3i so this is what we have from the two um from the quadratic equation there but then let's bring the three solutions together we have our x1 now which is equal to 2 okay this is the first that we got then our x2 now is from here which is minus 1 plus square root of 3 i okay this is also the same thing as minus 1 plus i square root of 3 okay this is for you to see that the i is not under the square root sign then our x3 is minus 1 minus square root of 3 i which is the same thing as minus 1 minus i square root of 3 so these are the three solutions that will satisfy the equation although the f the only real one is um x1 so x2 and x3 are complex solutions.